Hello, my dear students. This is Ms. Shaima Gharib, and today's lesson about tessellation. Let's start by what does tessellation mean? A shape is said to be tessellated if an infinite number of that shape can be put together with no gaps or overlaps. So these two words are really important to the shape to be tessellated. Also, tessellations can be used for tile patterns or in patchwork quilts. Let's see by example a shape, which is a rectangle, how to tessellate this shape. This way, I'm going to put many of this shape together and check, are there any gaps or overlaps? What do you think? No. So, in this case, we can say that rectangles can tessellate. What about this shape? It's a regular pentagon. So, this pentagon can tessellate or not. It's a regular, which means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. Let's put many of this shape together and check what will happen. Look what happened here. There is an overlap and also there is a gap. So we can say that regular pentagons cannot tessellate. So the regular pentagons cannot tessellate, but the, uh, the rectangles can tessellate. Now, what are the shapes that can tessellate? We have many shapes. Some of them always tessellate, such as triangles, quadrilaterals, and hexagons. So, all types of triangles and all types of quadrilaterals and all types of hexagons can tessellate. Let's check this by examples. Starting with triangles, here are three different types of triangles. An isosceles triangle, scalene triangle, and bilateral triangle. The first one, let's check together. As you can see, no gaps or overlaps. What about the second type, the scalene triangle? As you can see, no gaps or overlaps. So the scalene triangle can tessellate. What about the equilateral triangle? As you can see, the three types of triangles can tessellate. Now, let's check quadrilaterals. We have three quadrilaterals here, square, rectangle, and a parallelogram. Starting with the square, let's check. As you can see, no gaps or overlaps, so it can tessellate. The rectangle, we said before, it can tessellate. The parallelogram, let's check it and see. As you can see, no gaps or overlaps. So the square, the rectangle, and the parallelogram can tessellate. Let's try more quadrilaterals such as trapezium, kite, and rhombus. Let's start with the trapezium. It's an isosceles trapezium, by the way. As you can see, there are no gaps or overlaps. What about the kite? Let's check. Also, the kite can tessellate as there are no gaps or overlaps. What about the rhombus? As you can see, it can tessellate. So we can say that all quadrilaterals can tessellate. Now let's check the hexagons. 
let's start by these two hexagons the first one is regular hexagons hexagon which means all sides are equal and all angles are equal and the second one is an irregular hexagon let's start by the first one and check as you can see no gaps or overlaps so it can't oscillate what about the second one It also has no gaps or overlaps, so it can tessellate. More hexagons. Look at this one. It has six sides, so we call it hexagon. Let's check this irregular hexagon. It also has no gaps or overlaps, so it tessellates. So we can say that all hexagons can tessellate. Now, let's see shapes that do not tessellate. Let's start by very famous shapes that never tessellate, such as the circle, oval, regular pentagon, regular heptagon, regular octagon let's write the name the name of each one circle oval regular pentagon and regular heptagon and regular octagon remember that any shape that has seven sides is it's called heptagon and any shape that has eight sides it's called octagon okay now let's try an irregular pentagon could the irregular pentagon tessellate we said that the regular pentagon cannot tessellate what about if we have irregular pentagon such as this one let's try as you can see it could tessellate are all the irregular pentagons can tessellate? No, it's a case. So sometimes irregular pentagons could tessellate, sometimes, not always. But remember, the regular pentagons cannot tessellate, and sometimes the irregular pentagons could tessellate. Okay? Now, let's see some questions on tessellation. Which of these shapes could tessellate? We have two shapes here, as you can see. Let's start checking the first one. As you can see, this one could tessellate, as there are no gaps or overlaps. What about the second one? Let's check. Look what happened here. Look at the middle. There is a gap here. So this one cannot tessellate. I want you to know notice something very important about the first shape why this one can tessellate and this one cannot look at these sides that i highlight them with red can you see these eight sides they all must be equal in length also each one of them should be half of this side up there so in this case this shape can tessellate if we try same root with this shape we will find out that look these eight sides are equal okay but are e are they equal half of this side no they are longer than this side each one of them is not half of this one they are so much longer than this side so that's why this plus sign is not or cannot tessellate now let's see these two arrows we have and check could they tessellate or not the first one as you can see it can Tessellate. The second one, look, these two parts, 
they fit together well. What about now? Look what happened. There is an overlap here. So this arrow will tessellate, but this one will not tessellate. What is the difference between these two arrows? Let's look and check. Please pay attention and observe. Look at these sides. This blue one is double this one. These two together are the same length and each one of them is half of this side there. So that's why this arrow can tessellate. Let's check the second one. Is it the same as the first one or not? Look at these two sides. They are equal in length. Is each one of them half of this one? No. So that's why it will not tessellate. Okay? So please remember this well when it comes to this shape. Now, look at the shape, it has curves. And we used to say that shapes with curves not tessellate. What about this one? Let's try. What do you think? No gaps or overlaps, so it can tessellate. So not all the shapes with curves do not tessellate. Some of them can tessellate because look at this curve here. It fit with the curve down here. They can fit together well with no gaps or overlaps. So you have to imagine the shape and think of it. Could it tessellate or not? Now, more shapes with curves. Look at these two shapes. Let's check the first one. Also, no gaps or overlaps, so it could tessellate. What about the second one? And for the same reason, this curve and this curve, they fit together with no gaps or overlaps. So that's why this shape could tessellate. Look at this curve here and this curve here. They can easily fit inside each other. What about this one here? Let's try. Look. They do not fit together. There are gaps. So we say that this one can tessellate, but this one cannot tessellate. Okay? So let's see this question. Could circles tessellate and why? This question wants you to answer using yes or no and to explain your answer. So what did we say about circles? We said all circles cannot tessellate. So it's no. Why? What is the reason in this question? We're going to say there will be gaps and overlaps. Let's try one more question. Could triangles tessellate? Why? We said all types of triangles can tessellate. So all types of triangles can tessellate. So our answer will be yes. Why? Because there will be no gaps or overlaps. So you have to mention the gaps or overlaps when you answer this type of questions. Now, let's sum up what did we learn today. First, the definition of tessellation, which is the shape is said to be tessellated if an infinite number of that shape can be put together with no gaps or overlaps. And these two words we said, gaps and overlaps, are the key words of tessellation. Also, all types of triangles tessellate. So all types of triangles can tessellate. All quadrilaterals can tessellate. All hexagons can tessellate. Regular pentagons and regular heptagons, regular octagons, and so on, do not tessellate. Sometimes irregular pentagons tessellate. Do you remember the example I, I showed you before? And we said not all the irregular pentagons. Some of them 
could desilate. Okay? Circle and oval do not desilate. We said the circle and the oval are shapes that cannot desilate. Some shapes that have curves desilate. As I showed you, some of the shapes with curves can desilate, but not all of them. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. See you next video. And please remember that your feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you very much and see you soon.